What are the best affordable phones you can buy right now? Hello guys, my name is Vic with Phone Arena and we have reviewed a bunch of phones throughout the year and these are our favorite budget ones. We'll start this countdown at number 7 with the LG Stylo 5. And this is a dirt cheap phone, currently sold at just $170. This phone comes with a large 6.2 inch LCD screen and its superpower is a stylus that you can use to quickly jot down notes or sketch something right on your screen. Last time we checked, the $1000 Galaxy Note 10 Plus was the only other phone to offer such an option. So this definitely makes the cheap LG Stylo 5 quite special. With a 3500mAh battery on board, you should expect a solid battery life on it too, while its weak sides are the rather weak Snapdragon 450 processor on board and the camera, which is just okay. A bit more expensive, but still firmly in budget phone territory, next on the list are the Sony Xperia 10 and the larger Xperia 10 Plus. These are two unusual phones. They are extra tall and extra narrow, making them feel a bit like holding a TV remote. On the plus side, being so narrow, they're easy to grasp with one hand. If you want a phone that's different from all the rest, that's it. You also get a taller screen with a 21 by 9 aspect ratio here, which is actually the exact format used in professional cinema. So if you're watching Netflix on your phone, you'll love the size of the Xperia 10 phones. Battery life is very decent here and camera quality is above average, but not quite exceptional. Next on our list comes the Nokia 7.2. Yes, a Nokia phone in 2019 might actually be a great idea. This budget Nokia has surprisingly good looks for a device of this price and it features a clean version of Android. Its battery life is solid, has a sharp good looking screen and it comes with a whopping 128 gigs of onboard storage and there's even a dedicated Google Assistant button. It's not the perfect phone though, you should get it if you like the looks but it will sometimes stutter a bit and if you value a great camera, it doesn't quite cut it. Next we have the Moto G7, a phone that has traditionally been everyone's go-to budget phone. And this is also true this year, it's a great all-around budget phone, but we feel that others have really stepped it up with devices that offer a bit more flair and the G7, while reliable, looks a bit less exciting. Performance is zippy, the software is clean and enjoyable, the display is decent and the camera can take some good shots during the day. This is still a budget workhorse, but what is gone is the excitement. With this in mind, we are entering the most interesting part, the hotly contested top 3. At number 3 we have a device that will absolutely blow your mind if you look at the specs, the Redmi Note 8 Pro by Xiaomi. First though, the phone itself is an absolute looker, covered in glass at both the front and Gorilla Glass 5 on the back with special coating that makes it reflect light in a mesmerizing way. It's absolutely beautiful. Under the hood you have a MediaTek chip, but while MediaTek processors don't get a good rap, this particular one is actually surprisingly good, surprisingly fast and it beats chips like the Snapdragon 835 which was a flagship chip a year or so back. Add to that the biggest battery of any phone in this list, a massive 4500 mAh cell and all 4 cameras on the back, including an ultra wide angle camera and you pretty much have the full package. At number 2 we have a device that has become the symbol of the Samsung comeback in budget phones, the Galaxy A50. After really dropping the ball in the last couple of years, this year Samsung has absolutely nailed it with this phone. The A50 features a big and absolutely gorgeous 6.4 inch AMOLED screen that looks every ounce as sharp and beautiful as a flagship, maybe only not quite as bright. It's got a big 4000mAh battery as well that ensures very solid battery life. Camera performance is quite great during the day and overall this phone exceeds expectations. However, if you want the very best affordable phone right now, we would have to go with a device that did something no other budget phone has done. Include a flagship camera. That phone is the Pixel 3a. You can get it in the smaller 3a or the larger 3a XL version and both those phones have a beautiful AMOLED screen. They're made by Google, so they feature the latest version of Android and are also guaranteed to get updates on time, but also they work surprisingly quickly and without a stutter. 
Of course, the big, big feature here is the camera. The promise is you get the same camera performance as you get on a much more expensive flagship Google Pixel phone. And that means photos that look great during the day and at night. If you're after the camera and the overall experience, the Pixel 3a is the phone to get this year. So that's it, a bird's eye view of the affordable phone landscape. Which of these phones would you pick and what's your personal favorite budget phone? Let us know in the comments, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this, subscribe to see more from us. My name is Vic, this is Phone Arena and I will see you in the next one.